<laughs> I just saw perhaps the dumbest uh, video I've seen in quite a while. <laughs> Raw. <laughs> you stupid bastard. You you act like I got him. Forbidden fruit is down. No one will believe him. Atheism is one step closer to being doomed. Praise God. First off, no one gives a fuck. No one cares. It's a name. It's a little joke he played on you. You know it. And you're still crowing like you just won something. All right. You s Let me try to give you some perspective. All right, the biggest YouTubers I know of. I don't know how much uh, TJ makes the Amazing Atheist, but from what I hear about Mr. Repsion, he lives off his videos, but he lives in low-income housing. Hardly a millionaire. Uh... Aaron Raw, he says that in proportion to the work he puts into it, he doesn't make a lot of money. Our main goal, at least mine, is to stand up to religious zealots. they have to be stood up to. If someone's religious, fine, cool, whatever, play with your imaginary friend, have fun, but when you torment people because of a 2,000-year-old book of psychotic gibberish and you expect us to be quiet about it, to be silent to atrocity is to give consent. And religion is justification. It's the intellectual fig leaf that bullies hide behind. And atheists don't like bullies. We stand up to you. You don't seem to understand that atheism is part of evolution. As I explained before, about the in previous videos about the obedience experiment, people will tend to fall in line behind authority figures because I guess some part of social programming demands that they do it. And who has more authority than someone who's supposedly from God? And this unfortunate flaw in humanity has led to wars, to prejudice, to murder. And the atheists are just an example of the part of humanity who's evolving past that need for imaginary friends. We obey the laws. We try to be the best people we can be because our need for evolution, our need to evolve, to be the best we possibly can demands that we do that. Some, an immoral sociopath is an evolutionary dead end. They fail to evolve and they fall behind. They take people with them. 
but all in all, they're weak. Their violence, their hatred is a sign of weakness. And so what? You take down Mike. You won't do it, but let's say if you did. So fucking what? This cult of personality you seem to think exists. Uh, you see Mike. You don't seem to see the tens of thousands behind Mike. There are no leaders. It's just an absence of belief in God. We tear down the intellectual fig leaf and we look at humanity and we demand change. We will not give a silent consent to obscenities, to vulgarities, to violence. We hold the zealots accountable for their actions, for what they defend. Well, enough of my two cents. I'm going to throw some videos down below. Hope you enjoy.